I am out of product. Uh, I've been closed now, <clears throat> excuse me, for uh, almost three weeks. Uh, I'm on the verge of going out of business. Um, and while I acknowledge the efforts of the, of the commission to address the issue, uh, I really felt that the only way to get some immediate relief was to file a lawsuit. It's a sad day here in Martha's Vineyard that we can't buy our medical marijuana because of regulations and the political background going behind this. I need this to help with the pain that I suffer through on a daily basis. Uh, if, if we don't get relief, well, the first thing is that I'm out of business, and then the second thing is, is that Fine Fettle closes no later than September, and the island has no product, period. We have a, a, a lovely group of customers on this island. They're really, they're really uh, concerned and upset at the prospect of, of this dispensary closing down and going back to where we were before there was ever a legal dispensary on the island. I use it for medical purposes. I have a very uh, long-term back problem, uh, also insomnia. Uh, so I have found a lot of relief with some of the products. I've, you know, done a little experimenting on my own uh, to see what would work. The nice thing about getting at a dispensary is that you can tell them specifically what you're looking for and know the milligrams and know the potency and what's in it. Part of the issue is they've got to test it, they've got to grow it here, and the dispensaries for quite a long time really had very limited inventory. So it's taken them a long time to really build up the, you know, the constituency for them and also the product and the availability of diverse products for people. And now, uh, concerned about it all going away and all of the effort being, you know, just for naught, 